Hey guys, Pastor Bryson here. Welcome to Thoughts for Thursday. I just want you to know what I'm about to say may not be popular with uh, black people. It may not be popular with white people, but it should be very popular with Christian people. And that's who I'm talking to today. I've said what I have to say about uh, the issues going on. And uh, you can disagree with me and I can disagree with you. We can have different opinions. And if you are the type of person that likes to share on Facebook and do that kind of thing, I would ask you as a Christian to think before you post and to stop. Don't be controversial. Don't be confusing. Uh, don't be feeding into any fodder on any side. But uh, that's because I believe in what I'm about to say here from the Bible. And so if you don't agree with what I have to say uh, right here from the Bible, you're not disagreeing with me. You're disagreeing with God, uh, the author and finisher of our faith. And so I just want to read this and just hopefully everybody understands where I'm coming from that uh, I don't think that uh, we need to, to say anymore, that this is what uh, we need to know as Christians. And again, if you're, if you're a lost person or if you're not a true Bible-believing Christian or if you're a Christian in name only, you say you're a Christian but you don't really truly put the Bible uh, above every uh, other single aspect, government and everything else, then we probably aren't going to agree on this and that's okay, I'll still love you. And uh, it's okay to have different opinions, but it's not okay uh, to not have this. And this is what the Bible says, Ephesians 4 verse 3. Endeavoring, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. God produced the unity of the spirit through the death of his son, Jesus Christ here. And so it's the responsibility of the Christian person, no matter what color you are, it's the responsibility of the Christian person to keep that spirit of unity uh, because that's what Jesus died for. When we don't do that, we dishonor our Lord and Savior, who's the most important person who's ever lived, who died a brutal death at the hand of murderers, who died uh, publicly. Uh, and so everything you see going on in the world today, our Lord and Savior did that. He's our great example in all those aspects. He was walked through the streets and died publicly. He was so famous that the Bible says that his fame was noised about or abroad. So people were walking in the streets and seeing what was going on. And just so everybody understands, Simon, the Cyrenian, uh, was of black skin. The man who helped Jesus carry his cross was black. Jesus, my opinion, you can argue with me if you want to. Jesus is a Jew. He's certainly of Middle Eastern descent. And it didn't matter because at that moment in time, uh, there was a unity there. And that was something that was supposed to happen. And I believe that that happened there in that specific portion of the Bible to prove that in the spirit, in the spirit of God, we are to be continuing to endeavor for unity. Now, in verse four, it says that there's one body, that there's one spirit, and that there, that there even as you are called in one hope of your calling, that our calling outranks everything else, being a Christian. And we know that there's one God, one Father of all, who is above all and through uh, all and in you all. And so I want you to understand that the unity of the, Spirit, of the Spirit tells us we need to endeavor to keep that unity, to keep that bond that we have as Christian believers. There is a bond that's unbreakable that far outranks and outweighs every single other aspect of life. People will say, well, pastor, uh, this is going on in the world. This is going on in the world. And I'm not disagreeing or arguing any of those things today. What I'm saying to you is that the bond that we have in the spirit of God, black people have the same Holy Spirit. White people have the same Holy Spirit. Asian people have the same Holy Spirit. Uh, a little kid that gets saved at 10, 11 years old has the same Holy Spirit as pastors have been pastoring for 50 or 60 years. It doesn't matter, my friends that we are to endeavor, let's read it again, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. If you're a Bible believing Christian and you're not trying to keep the, un the unity, you're not endeavoring to do that, then what you're doing is a disservice to the word of God. You're not honoring God's word. You're not living for God's word. You're being a hearer of the word, but you're not being a doer. We have far too much of that as Christians already. We need to get it together, my friends. And I want you to understand that the Bible tells us this. This isn't Pastor Bryson talking. This isn't me uh, being on a soapbox. This is what God's word says. If you are a Bible believing Christian, then you need to do what God's word says to do. Get off Facebook, get your face in the book. Stop worrying about people's opinions. Stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. Stop worrying about uh, trying to be right all the time because that means you're prideful and pride cometh before a fall. Pride is a sin. We need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of that attitude. We need to get unity in the spirit. Bible-believing Christians, I call upon you to stand up today, to rise above it all, to stand up and get unity in the spirit. No matter what that looks like today, get unity. And if somebody disagrees with you, oh, well, so what? You're a Christian. Start acting like it. 
I hope that you understand where I'm coming from today. God bless you. I'll see you at church Sunday, 10 a.m., 777 East Trotwood Boulevard, Dayton, Ohio, 45426. We will be socially distancing there. Uh, and we'll be uh, making sure there's plenty of soap, there's plenty of hand sanitizer, there's plenty of space, but we want to make sure everybody's safe, especially for our at-risk and older congregation. And so we want you to come, uh, enjoy, and God is going to be good to us. We're going to have a great time there. Uh, we're blessed to be able to use this building this week. And so uh, God bless you, and I hope that I'll see you Sunday morning, and I hope that we all start endeavoring to keep this unity in the spirit. God bless you.